Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to change out the Wi Fi card. Here I have the Asus Gaming Laptop. What happened is that the Wi Fi has the intermittent signal when it's connected. It could be 2 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 seconds, and it just disconnect by itself and it shows there's no Wi Fi connection and I can't see any of the Wi Fi signal. So in this video, I'll walk you through and we'll be replacing the Wi-Fi card in the laptop. All right, so let me identify the laptop for you. This model here is Asus GL753V, Republic of Gamers laptop. And that is the model of this uh, laptop here. So we need to remove the back cover. First thing is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and let's go ahead and start removing the screws. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, let's go ahead and separate the back cover with the palm rest. I'm using my metal prying tool to stick in between to get a good leverage so that I can use a, a plastic prying tool to separate them. Oh, I think I missed something right here in the center. I totally forgot about there might be another screw here. It just feels like it is very tight and it's not coming out. There might be a, a hidden screw right underneath this rubber. All right, there you go. There's this one silver. Proof. I got to apologize for that. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot to remove the, the middle screw right here. Once you have removed the middle screw, the entire back cover would just pop right out. Okay, so here is a Wi Fi card. Let's go ahead and peel off this plastic here. So the white cables go on the top and the black cables go at the bottom disconnect you just lift it straight up remove that screw and there you go slide it to your left that's how you remove the wi-fi card 
So let's take a look at the model here. It says the model is, I can't really read it, 726NGW, seven, uh, something like that. So let me find a replacement Wi-Fi card for this. Let's see if I have it here. Uh, wonder if this is going to work. All right, so this is the replacement Wi-Fi card that I have. I believe this should work properly. So let's go ahead and reconnect it. Slide it to your right. Close it down. Put the screws back in. And then just put the broken Wi-Fi card on the side. Reconnect the wire. So the black one is going on top. It looks like my Wi-Fi card is slightly different than the original Wi-Fi card. So let's put this on the top here. So it says the black one here is pointing on the top. And the white one should go at the bottom. Once you're done with that, put the tape back down just to retape it so it doesn't move around. And there you go. That's how you replace the Wi-Fi card. Now, in terms of other stuff here, let me give you a quick tour. So at least you get to see what is happening. Um, this is your CPU and a graphics card sharing with the same heatsink. This copper heatsink is the one that exhausts the air to your right. And the fan is going to blow that heat out for you. All right, and this is your M.2 drive, the NVMe drive that has all your information here, as well as the secondary storage on this regular spinning hard drive. You can change the, so, um, you can change the hard drive to a solid state drive. Uh, that way you would have a faster computer rather than the regular ones. The battery is on the top here. All right, that is the battery connector. Your speaker and the RAM is hidden underneath here. As you can see, there are two slots. One is used and one is open. You can add additional RAM, DDR4, to increase your performance. All right, so there you have it. And pretty much this is the, this is the, uh, the, the, the laptop here. I'm going to put the back cover together. Let's just put it back already. And remember the silver screw is right in the center. The rest of other screw can just go back in. The length of the screws are all the same. So it doesn't matter where you're going to put all the screws back in together. All right. Okay, put the screws in. There you have it. That's pretty much the entire process. Now you can turn on your computer. Hopefully you don't have to install the driver. Um, but most of the time, the computer with Windows 10 or 11, they should have the driver uh, available for any of the wireless NIC card. And you probably do not have to reinstall the, uh, the driver. But if it happens to you that you need to install, try to look it up 
um, online or go to device manager to find the driver for your wireless card and if you find the video is helpful please give me a like and subscribe to the channel do not forget to hit the notification bell i do appreciate you for subscribing and liking the video all right if you have any question comment below i do read your i do read the comment and i try to answer your questions have a nice day and thanks for watching bye now